in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy Spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. O God, who didst instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us in the same Spirit to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in his consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Litany of the Holy Spirit Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Father all-powerful, have mercy on us. Jesus, eternal Son of the Father, Redeemer of the world, save us. Spirit of the Father and the Son, boundless life of both, sanctify us. Holy Trinity, hear us. Holy Spirit, who proceed us from the Father and the Son, enter our hearts. Holy Spirit, who art equal to the Father and the Son, enter our hearts. Promise of God the Father, have mercy on us. Ray of heavenly light, have mercy on us. Author of all good, have mercy on us. Source of heavenly water, have mercy on us. Consuming fire, have mercy on us. Ardent charity, have mercy on us. Spiritual unction, have mercy on us. Spirit of love and truth, have mercy on us. Spirit of wisdom and understanding, have mercy on us. Spirit of counsel and fortitude, have mercy on us. Spirit of knowledge and piety, have mercy on us. Spirit of the fear of the Lord, have mercy on us. Spirit of grace and prayer, have mercy on us. Spirit of peace and meekness, have mercy on us. Spirit of modesty and innocence, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit the Comforter, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit the Sanctifier, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit who governs the Church, have mercy on us. Gift of God the Most High, have mercy on us. Spirit who fills the universe, have mercy on us. Spirit of the adoption of the children of God, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, inspire us with the horror of sin. Holy Spirit, come and renew the face of the earth. Holy Spirit, shed thy light in our souls. Holy Spirit, engrave thy law in our hearts. Holy Spirit, inflame us with the flame of thy love. Holy Spirit, open to us the treasures of thy graces. Holy Spirit, teach us to pray well. Holy Spirit, enlighten us with thy heavenly inspirations. Holy Spirit, lead us in the way of salvation. Holy Spirit, Grant us the only necessary knowledge. Holy Spirit, inspire in us the practice of good. Holy Spirit, grant us the merits of all virtues. Holy Spirit, make us persevere in justice. Holy Spirit, be Thou our everlasting reward. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, Send us thy Holy Spirit, Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Pour down into our souls the gifts of the Holy Spirit, Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Grant us the spirit of wisdom and piety. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of thy love. Let us pray. 
grant, O merciful Father, that thy divine spirit may enlighten, inflame and purify us, that he may penetrate us with his heavenly dew and make us fruitful in good works through our Jesus Christ, thy Son, who with thee in the unity of the same spirit liveth and reigneth one God forever and ever. Amen. O Holy Spirit, O my God, I adore thee and acknowledge here in thy divine presence that I am nothing and can do nothing without thee. Come, great parasite, thou father of the poor, thou comforter the best. Fulfill the promise of our blessed Saviour, who would not leave us orphans, and come into the mind and heart of thy poor, unworthy creature, as thou didst descend on the sacred day of Pentecost, on the Holy Mother of Jesus, and on his first disciples. Grant that I may participate in those gifts which thou didst communicate to them so wonderfully and with so much mercy and generosity. Take from my heart whatever is not pleasing to thee and make of it a worthy dwelling place for thyself. Illumine my mind that I may see and understand the things that are for my eternal good. Inflame my heart with pure love of thee that I may be cleansed from the dross of all inordinate attachments, and that my whole life may be hidden with Jesus in God. Strengthen my will, that I may be made conformable to thy divine will, and be guided by thy holy inspirations. Aid me by thy grace to practice the divine lessons of humility, poverty, obedience, and contempt of the world, which Jesus taught us in his mortal life. O rend the heavens, and come down, consoling spirit, that inspired and encouraged by thee, I may faithfully comply with the duties of my state, carry my daily cross more patiently, and endeavor to accomplish the divine will with the utmost perfection. Spirit of love, spirit of purity, spirit of peace, sanctify my soul more and more, and give me that heavenly peace which the world cannot give. Bless our Holy Father the Pope, bless the Church, bless our bishops, our priests, all religious orders, and all the faithful that they may be filled with the Spirit of Christ and labor earnestly for the spread of his kingdom. O Holy Spirit, thou giver of every good and perfect gift, grant me, I beseech thee, the intentions of this novena. May thy will be done in me and through me. Mayst thou be praised and glorified forevermore. Amen. Act of Consecration to the Holy Spirit On my knees, before the great multitude of heavenly witness, I offer myself soul and body to you, eternal Spirit of God. I adore the brightness of your purity, the honoring keenness of your justice, and the might of your love. You are the strength and light of my soul. In you I live and move and am. I desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness to grace, and I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully guard my every thought and grant that I may always watch for your light and listen to your voice and follow your gracious inspirations. I cling to you and give myself to you and ask you by your compassion to watch over me in my weakness. 
holding the pierced feet of Jesus and looking at his five wounds and trusting in his precious blood and adoring his open side and stricken heart, I implore you, adorable spirit, helper of my infirmity, to keep me in your grace that I may never sin against you. Give me grace, O Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Father and the Son, to say to you always and everywhere, Speak, Lord, for your servant heareth. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, who before ascending into heaven did promise to send the Holy Spirit to finish your work in the souls of your apostles and disciples, deign to grant the same Holy Spirit to me that he may perfect in my soul the work of your grace and your love. Grant me the spirit of wisdom that I may despise the perishable things of this world and aspire only after the things that are eternal. The spirit of understanding to enlighten my mind with the light of your divine truth. The spirit of counsel that I may ever choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven, the spirit of fortitude, that I may bear my cross with you and that I may overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose my salvation, the spirit of knowledge, that I may know God and know myself and grow perfect in the science of the saints, the spirit of piety, that I may find the service of God sweet and amiable, and the spirit of fear, that I may be filled with a loving reverence towards God, and may dread in any way to displace Him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of your true disciples, and animate me in all things with your spirit. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. August Queen of Heaven, Sovereign Mistress of Angels, 
who did receive from the beginning the mission and the power to crush the serpent's head, we beseech thee to send thy holy angels that under thy command and by thy power they may pursue the evil spirits, encounter them on every side, resist their bold attacks, and drive them hence into the abyss of eternal woe. Most Holy Mother, send thy angels to defend us, to conceal us, and to drive the cruel enemy from us. St. Michael, St. Raphael, St. Gabriel, the Archangels, with legions of angels and archangels, come surround me right now and make me and all associated with me completely invisible to our enemies. Hide me under your wings, O holy angels, so that no eyes can see, no ears can hear, no minds understand the mighty plan of God for me, my family tree, and all associated with me. Blind all evil spirits and evil minds, O holy angels and archangels, so that they may not see or hear our work and our plans, and that they may not be able to deceive and persecute us, nor interfere with our plans and projects or cause confusion in our endeavors to serve God and to serve humanity. All ye holy angels and archangels, help and defend us. Amen. August Queen of Heaven, Sovereign Mistress of Angels, who did receive from the beginning the mission and the power to crush the serpent's head, we beseech thee to send thy holy angels that under thy command and by thy power they may pursue the evil spirits, encounter them on every side, resist their bold attacks, and drive them hence into the abyss of eternal woe. Most Holy Mother, send thy angels to defend us, to conceal us, and to drive the cruel enemy from us. St. Michael, St. Raphael, St. Gabriel, the archangels, with legions of angels and archangels, come surround me right now and make me and all associated with me completely invisible to our enemies. Hide me under your wings, O holy angels, so that no eyes can see, no ears can hear, no minds understand the mighty plan of God for me, my family tree, and all associated with me. Blind all evil spirits and evil minds, O holy angels and archangels, so that they may not see or hear our work and our plans, and that they may not be able to deceive and persecute us, nor interfere with our plans and projects or cause confusion in our endeavors to serve God and to serve humanity. All ye holy angels and archangels, help and defend us. Amen. August Queen of Heaven, Sovereign Mistress of Angels, who did receive from the beginning the mission and the power to crush the serpent's head, we beseech thee to send thy holy angels that under thy command and by thy power they may pursue the evil spirits, encounter them on every side, resist their bold attacks, and drive them hence into the abyss of eternal woe. Most Holy Mother, send thy angels to defend us, to conceal us, and to drive the cruel enemy from us. St. Michael, St. Raphael, St. Gabriel, the archangels, with legions of angels and archangels, come surround me right now and make me and all associated with me completely invisible to our enemies. Hide me under your wings, O holy angels, so that 
No eyes can see, no ears can hear, no minds understand the mighty plan of God for me, my family tree, and all associated with me. Blind all evil spirits and evil minds, O holy angels and archangels, so that they may not see or hear our work and our plans, and that they may not be able to deceive and persecute us, nor interfere with our plans and projects, or cause confusion in our endeavors to serve God and to serve humanity. All ye holy angels and archangels, help and defend us. Amen.